Hello YouTube and welcome to Auto Club Revolution. This is a uh, free racing game that is <coughs> uh, launched and downloaded from the uh, Auto Club Revolution website. Uh, a little bit like, is it Battlefield? I think it's Battlefield. Where you can uh, basically like join in, start games from the uh, from the web browser. <coughs> my only uh, main, well, the, my, not my only, but my main main drawback about this game was the um, was the fact that it all pretty much launches off of the website. Um, one sec. Let me just turn this down. Sorry about this. This game is insanely loud. There we go. <clears throat> so it launches and downloads like directly off of the uh, off of the website. So that the only way you can uh, play like a new map or a new track, it's not already already installed when you um, when you download the game. It's you have to get it from their website, which is kind of annoying and it gets a bit a bit in the way after a while because you have to wait for it to download after like every map. <laughs> you know, and you can see my why I don't like that system very well, very much or whatever it's called. <clears throat> um. um but there is there's a few good offers going on where you can uh, basically get like cars for free. I got this one for free. This is um a Lotus something. Fuck, I can't remember the name of it now. Basically, yeah, I got a little message from like this is from admin or BT Infinity or whatever it said, and then it was like you can get two free cars. So I clicked on it, clicked OK, and I got two free cars. So. It basically just means you get a car that's BT Infinity on the side of it. Um, wow. This game's got a really, really cool like upgrading system where you can like... you After races you get like experience and money and you can like use your experience and your, uh, and your money to buy um, upgrades for your cars and like cosmetics like spoilers or... That's not added into the game yet because the game is still in beta. But later on, you'll be able to add in like uh, spoilers and like oh god, damn, custom trims and bits and pieces like that. At the moment, the only custom thing you can add in is uh, alloy wheels. But you do have like tons of alloys you can choose from. Um, where you can paint your car whatever you want, and you can upgrade it. You can upgrade your engine, like your um, your exhaust, your gearbox, your sp your um, suspension. You have a whole range of things that you can uh, choose to upgrade. This game is built in. I'm guessing it's like I'm not I'm not sure what engine this was made in, but this is like really really good. It's got like a whole ton of options you can change, like uh, anisotropic filtering, uh, anti aliasing stuff like this, uh, blooming effects, and shit. I'm going too fast to make that corner. <laughs> okay. Yeah, as I said before, that is. The main drawback of this game, I think, is that the fact that it all launches from their website. Pretty much, when you download the game, it basically just downloads like the engine and like the starter car, and that's about it. Like the default for the starter car. If you change it, it like everything you do on their website, um, the launch thing. Hang on. It's difficult to explain. When you open up the game, it minimizes this thing to your system tray. That looks a bit like a steering wheel. That is the application. It's like a little steering wheel icon, and basically that basically just talks to the host, to the um, to the website, and anything you change on the website, it draws that across and puts it into your game files. So it means that the game is very very diverse. You can change a lot of things about about the um, about the game that other racing games might not necessarily let you change because it's already in the game files. But whereas none of it's in the game files when you download it, it means you can a lot of it is susceptible to change um, when you when you when you play it. Um, oh yeah, secondly, I want to talk about how this game is well free <laughs> and it's in beta at the moment. So I would highly recommend downloading this uh, link in the description as always. <clears throat> Um, as always, um, if you if you find anything else that you would uh, want, want us to play, want us to show the people, or if you would uh, like us to try and find anything else that's free and awesome for you to play, um, just comment, rate, whatever. 
like tell us what you thought of it um, tell us what you would like us to have a look at um, in the future and we will uh, go ahead and do that because we have a lot of uh, a lot of spare time at the moment because we're in our holidays so awesome <laughs> and basically yeah um, I haven't really got a whole much more to say about this game it's very very simple in that manner as it is just a racing game like there's no options in the game as such you have to change it all in the launcher in the uh, in the system tray I'm not sure about Mac I'm not I don't know if you can get it on Mac I'm pretty sure you can I'll have a look at that and I'll uh, if it, if it's on Mac this is probably like one of the exceptions where I'll actually put a Mac download in the description because I've never done that before apart from that no it's this that's it to the game really um, I'm not gonna go. It, um, yeah, I'm gonna cut this off before I actually finish this final lap. I think, but um, this is basically just let's uh, let's take a look at uh, Auto Club Revolution or ACR. Sure. Um, yeah, and I think that's pretty much I've covered everything there. Apart from that, uh, I'm not sure about the minimum specs for the game. It is pretty good looking. So, um, but you can change, like I said earlier, you can change a wide variety of settings: anti-aliasing, stop filtering. Um, you have a whole whole uh, choice of things that you can uh, that you can choose from to change. So hopefully this is going to be able to run on pretty much any PC. Maybe not. Maybe not like really really old PCs, but you know you know what I mean. Like most PCs will be able to run this. Um, I'll put the I'll try and get the minimum specs in the uh, description for you as well. Okay. Um, well, that was a good drift. <laughs> but apart from that. Um, you're watching PCG, this is Justin, and have a nice day, really.